Yes, sir. We out here, we made it to Tampa, headed to St. Leo University. Shout out my boy, Nor. Awkward African in the building, Simple Flicks. We out here, man. It's, uh, so, Ray is about to be picking us up. Man, I'm excited for this show, man. The person who booked me was actually my dean at the University of Florida, Dean Jen Deshaw. She booked me for my one of my first few, two of my first few uh, speaking engagements, actually. And now she's at the University of St. Leo. She came all the way, like, my first gig, she booked me to perform at, a, at this church. Her daughter was having a conference, and I went there and rocked it out, man. And she booked me to do a Martin Luther King uh, speech, and now, the next level this is gonna be a real deal performance. My mama need a brand new crib, and my sisters need shoes for the kids, and my brothers need bread for the bills, and my pops need food for the meals. Alarm clock ringing, it's time to wake up. I hit snooze three times, I'm running late, but it's all good. I'm just trying to stack that paper so I can slide to the studio later and rap about this life that I'm living. Everything is expensive and these prices are driven. Every night I've been thinking, gotta apply for positions as I'm cutting cigarellos with a knife in the kitchen. Roll it up, I'm feeling right in my system. Stress relieved, I made ease, now I'm right. Pursuing that higher education. That is what I always kept on the forefront of my mind while I was chasing my dreams, doing these shows, opening up for artists, big artists that were touring, had the chance to meet J. Cole, Chance the Rapper, Boz, Kendrick Lamar, and it was just amazing to be able to be in Gainesville, Florida, pursuing my dream and being able to do that. So upon graduation, I was applying to jobs, you know, go to school, graduate, and I was getting job offers, jobs that are paying $60,000, $80,000 a year, and for some reason, I just didn't want it. I didn't want it because I had in my heart, I had a dream, and my dream was to pursue my music, be able to use that as a tool to motivate people. Being grateful, that's one thing that really got me through everything. Like little being grateful for the smallest things, just the food that I had on my plate, the times that I was able to share with my family members. The... I always think about that every time I take a deep breath. I could not be taking this breath right now, you know? And that just always reminds me to not take things for granted and always stay focused on the positive sides of situations because we go through a lot. We go through so much negativity. We think 70,000 thoughts and 90% of those are negative thoughts, whether we actively think about it or not. Now it becomes a process of rewiring your brain into a place where you're much more grateful, much more positive, and that literally changes your outside environment. Thank God I woke up. I say that to myself every morning. Thank God I woke up. Thank God. God, it changes the entire outlook of your day and just being grateful for all of that. I think I like y'all. I got some food on my plate, thank God. I got some money in the bank, thank God. My whole family straight, thank God. I thank God. I got some food on my plate, thank God. I got some money in the bank, thank God. My whole family straight, thank God. I thank God. I thank God. Nothing is promised, don't take it for granted. Cause you could lose everything you was handed. Give people help if you got the advantage. Give people your help if you got the advantage. Too many on this planet. Walk around looking stranded. Lord, I can't stand it. But I don't have all of the answers. I'm just swaying in the wind. Man, who that on the track? They playing it again. Hey, I look outside and them folks praying it again. Mama with her hands together, praying it again. That's it. So give a round of applause for yourselves one more time. And I'm gonna leave y'all on this one last piece. I'm on my way up. I'm never looking back now. Cause growing up, the streets taught me never back down. I'm straight up out that jack town, Duval to be exact down. Where they never put that mat down and quick to lay the smack down on any rapper trying to act out, fronting with your racks out. Just cause you put a couple rhymes together, that don't mean you could rap now. Cause you ain't in the trap house, my rhymes touching, they feeling it like a pat down. They handed me the baton, I'm running tracks now. Long distance, all sprinting, never sat down. 
If you sitting and you tripping and you whack now, I'm all in it, all in it, give me that now. My palms itching, wrists and arms twitching. I'm trying to get it till I make sure that my mama isn't working another day in her life. Why? So that she could live her days in the life of a queen like she deserves. I seen mama get hurt, struggling by any means to make it work. So I hit the streets serving the fiends doing that dirt. To have dinner, we never seen any dessert. Made it to college, had to leave, had to desert. Felt like I had nobody to lean on for support. I tried to ball out like those boys that I seen up on the court. That didn't work out, so I'm wrapping my feelings to get heard now. All of a sudden, I'm that brother that they worried about. I'm confident in my style, you never heard doubt. They listening to what I say now that the word out, erasing all the competition, leave them blurred out and burn down. The flame is too strong. The fire that I drag in like RuPaul, pause. For those dudes with loose jaws, I'm on my way up. I've been working for too long. Bars. Thank y'all very much. So my name's Jen Shaw, I'm the Vice President for Student Affairs at St. Leo University, and Hip Hop Duke is one of my former students, and we brought him to St. Leo University, he was amazing, the students adored him, his message was uplifting, he's super talented, you should definitely bring him to your campus too. My mama need a brand new crib, and my sisters need shoes for the kids, and my brothers need bread for the bills, and my pops need food for the meals. But I'm feeling like... I'm selling my soul for the money, like I'm selling my soul for the money. I be feeling like I'm selling my soul for the money, like I'm selling my soul for the money. I be feeling like I'm selling my soul for the money, like I'm selling my soul for the money. Wrapping up, we headed out. It was an amazing experience here. St. Leo University, it was a blast. I can't wait to come back. Uh, thank you so much, Dean Jen, my old dean from the University of Florida. She showed so much love bringing me out here. And like, we were able to really connect with the students and give them that motivation. And it was truly a full circle experience for the students. And that's really what it's about at the end of the day. So thank you, St. Leo University. I can't wait to come back.